Hey, the purpose of anises to keep things from rusting together. Uh, also a good lubricant going together. Things to use it on would be definitely would be like an exhaust studs going into the manifolds. What you want to do is you just want to put a little bit on there. A little bit goes a long ways, you know. Even on the other side here, when you got the stud in there, you get the three studs or two studs sticking out. You want to put some on the other end for the flange. Just like that, you know. You can do that. Also, like on your suspension, link kits, definitely. Definitely want to put it on the link kits, okay? Be careful not to get it on you because it kind of gets everywhere, you know. A little bit goes a long ways, all right? Let me go grab some more stuff to give you more examples. Ah, here's some more. Here's another stabilizer link. These are the ones you definitely need to have some on. You know, you just want to put them on there. You know, just like that. You know, no big deal. Put them on there. When you're going together. Helps out the installation and... If you gotta remove them again to do some other part, okay? You're doing ball joints on a suspension? Oh, it's great to put it in here, you know? You know, you just gotta be careful. It doesn't, you know, you just put a little bit on there. A little bit goes a long ways, you know? Oh yeah, when you get the ball joint installed, I always put some on my on my threads, and maybe I'll put some on my uh, tapers too for my tie rods and my ball joints, stuff like that. So give you an idea. Pretty much any of the suspension bolts that you got on your vehicle, so that, that ain't too bad. Let me go grab one of my other ones that I like that I. I do a lot of, oh yeah, here's a tie rod end. When you do tie rod ends, because you're going to need a good alignment every once in a while. So I always put some anises on there beforehand, you know. And I'll put some on my ball stud and my threads, just like that, all right? No big deal. A little bit goes a long ways. Yeah, if you're doing brakes, you know. And you got your rotor, you got your rotor off, and you got your hub bearing or your axle flange there. You need to clean these off, make sure there's no rust on them, and make sure there's no dirt in there. And you just want to put some anesthesia in there around the base of it in there like that. Just get a light film, get it all over inside here. That'll help prevent it from rusting. So when you need to take your rotor off again in the future, to do brakes again or some other suspension component. You got a light film of anesthes in there and the rotor won't bond to it. And also, it won't be full of rust. Because if you got rust underneath your flange, you know, and then you got uh, high and low spots and then, then you'll get a wobble, all right? One other thing. Also, if you're replacing the uh, the uh, the hub bearing, clean off your knuckle where the hub bearing mounts onto the knuckle. Put some anesthes on your knuckle, and also put some anesthes, you know, on your flange before you put it on, and that'll help it in the future keep it from rusting on there or creating high and low spots, you know. Because, you know, the parts nowadays, they just don't last, you know. So, yeah, basically, you know, that's what you do with your anesthes. You know, it ain't no big deal. You know, it's a little bit goes a long way. So, it ain't too bad, you know. And just be careful you don't get any on you. Because, you know, it just seems to go everywhere, you know. But, uh, I think that's about it. You get the general idea of anesthes and where to put it and how much to put on there, you know, and just a little bit goes a long ways, you know, because 
you know, you might, you might need to do it. So, like I said, works the best on your suspension parts and exhaust manifolds are the greatest. Exhaust bolts and stuff like that. Okay? Remember, a little bit goes a long way, so, all right? Thank you.